What up everybody? You guys are watching Freedom Fishing TV and this video I will be talking about the different types of worms. Um, so starting out I just want to say there are plenty of different types but I'm not going to be going into every single single one but I'm going to be going over most of them and I would say there's four types of worms. When I say worms it's Give me your tip, typical long, you know, soft plastic. So I'm going to start out with the basic one. Everyone pretty much knows um, if you start fishing and you're very new to fishing, this is probably what you've thrown um, very early on. And that is the curly tail or U-tail worm. These usually imitate a snake. Um, a lot of people think they're imitating worms. And yeah, they can, but I've never seen a worm bigger than like this. So these are basically imitating snakes. Now the colors, I've, I've put other videos um, talking about colors of soft plastics, so you can go check those out. But darker colors, darker water. Lighter colors, lighter water. That's how I usually go, and that's what you usually should do. So if you're fishing darker waters, you're gonna wanna use black and blue, black, black and purple. But every single one of these, besides the last one I'm gonna go over, you can Texas rig these. You can um, Carolina rig these, drop shot them. You can do a lot of things with all these worms. They're very similar. Um, but U-tail worms are going to be your bottom baits. You can just slow roll them, kind of like a swim bait. You can work them on the bottom like a jig. You can do a lot of things with them. These are very us universal, and you can fish these year-round. I love Texas rigs. U-tail worms are something I use when I do Texas rigs. Out of all these worms, U-tail worms or curly tail worms, or what I use for Texas rigs. Here's another color. This is a smaller one. This is a power bait one. I haven't used these in a long time though. Okay, next type of worm is going to be your um, um, trick worms. These tr uh, trick worms I actually have gotten more into this season. Um, well, last season, in the spring and summer, it's fall now. But you, uh, trick worms, I do enjoy. You rig them up like Texas rigs, but the thing is, you kind of, you kind of pop them, kind of like a fluke. But with a fluke, you do a pop, pop, pause. These are like a constant slow roll with pops, so they kind of go like this in the water. Um, the Guggen, the Guggen ones, the Guggen trick worms, the Mondo worms. These are these are pretty long. I tend not to use these anymore. They're really big, but they do work. I have caught in small fish on these as well as big ones, but I'm not a fan of big trick worms because they're um, when they're bigger and heavier, they're harder to uh, move around like how you're supposed to, which is you know constant twitching, um, constant just reeling it in. But you could also fish them slow. They're very similar to the next worm, which are just sinkos or just stick worms. You know, wacky wig, wacky wacky worms. Um, there's a lot of names for these. Most people know them by Cinco's. But these are just basic, a stick, it's like a stick. That's why I call them, I call them stick worms. You can fish these a few different ways. You can Texas rig these for more of a finesse worm. But when you're going finesse, I wouldn't Texas rig a worm. If you're going finesse, I'd go shaky head, which you can use these for shaky heads. Actually, this is what I recommend. Or you can do Ned rigs. So those are my top two finesse worms. Ned rigs and shaky head worms, and this would be a great shaky head. You can also wacky rig. I'm not a big wacky rig guy, but you can definitely wacky rig these. Um, these are going to be more finesse, more specified worms for specific um, rigs. So your shaky heads, wacky rigs, um, drop shots as well. And these have probably the most amount of um, ones you can buy, brands and colors. Um, I like the big bite baits. I've just used them a lot. I like the black and blue. I don't have any on me now, but I have these. These came in a care package I got, and they're they look like worm color. It's like brown and black. I know the focus is on here, so it looked bad, but and these are um, some yum cinco's stick worms, whatever you want to call them. And these are like um, green pumpkin with some chartreuse tail and I like these a lot. These are going to be good for your shaky heads because the chartreuse will just stick up or you can cut off the chartreuse and just go green pumpkin all the way. That's why I like soft plastics as well. You can just cut them up do what you want. Make them long, make them shorter. 
And then the last type of worm, um, I'm probably going to get hate because these are not really specified as worms. This is their own thing. The Ned Rigs. I have a whole video on Ned Rigs. I have two videos on Ned Rigs, I think. But these, the Z-Man ones, stretch a lot, which I like, but also I, I actually like the Guggen Rattling Neds more. Um, but that's a whole different, that's something else. But these are going to be your number one finesse bait when it comes to worms. You're going to want to throw it on like a medium light spinning combo um, with a net hook and you just pop it on the bottom slow. You can also fish it a little faster, but when I personally use nets, I'm going to be fishing them slower. There are a few other types of worms, but they are different. Like there's the double tail, um, U tail. Like there's there's some I, I've seen some U tail worms, but they have two coming out. But that's more like a grub, more of like a creature bait. So that's not in the worm category, if you ask me. There's a lot of soft plastics that you can kind of use the same thing, like a lizard. You can Texas rig it just as much as you can Texas rig a U tail worm. But the only difference is I wouldn't use a lizard in the fall, I wouldn't use a lizard in the winter, but I'll use a U-tail worm in those in the winter and the in the fall, but also I'll use a U-tail worm in the spring and summer. I know I'm talking fast, that's just how I do it, but I know I covered everything really quick. But if I had to pick one of these just for fun, for year round, all the time, it can only have one forever, I'd probably pick the Cinco because you can cut it up so you can have the Ned. You can use it as a shaky head and that's about it. I wouldn't be able to use these for fast pace, kind of like a U-tail worm, but I could though if I wanted. It just wouldn't be as more effective. Um, trick worms are kind of... Um, actually, no. If I had to pick a bait, it would be a trick worm because the, tr the trick worm, you can fish it fast and you can pop it a lot and it has the action and then if you cut off the little tail, boom! Then you got like a shaky head kind of thing. You cut it even more, you got the net. So the trick worm is like everything in one besides the U-tail worm. The U-tail worm has its own type of action, which I like. Um, you know, they're all good. I know this video is random, and I know I haven't posted in about a month and a half, but I'm, I just left my job, and I'm going, I'm following my career right now, so I'm pretty busy. And if you, don't, if you want to know what that is, it's actually related to this. It's video editing, and I have been doing a lot of work, clients, and I've been, I've been busy, but... I am going to try to keep this up. I have been fishing. I did film a video, but I didn't catch anything, so I didn't think I needed to post it. Um, There's a funny story with that, but that's out of the subject. Subscribe if you want more. Subscribing will keep me motivated, and if you keep me motivated, you'll see me more often. Hope you guys have a good day. Thank you.